Hello again and welcome to another iTalk PTT how-to video. As always, log into your account using a Chrome or Firefox browser and navigate to your admin menu. From the admin menu, go down to the Geofences section on the left. If you don't see the Geofences option, you'll need to be logged in as a user within the account instead of an admin or dealer. So from the dealer account, create a user, log in, in that, as that user, and you'll be able to see the Geofences section. When you click on the Geofences section, you'll see a list of your existing Geofences. Here we have a Polygon Geofence that you're able to delete, edit, but also you can add a new one. Click the little plus button and you'll be able to add or create a new Geofence. You can use the search field to get you to your location where you want to write the Geofence and it'll take you to that area on the map. I like to turn on the labels within the satellite view so I can see the street names and the business names. Now that I've found the area where I want to put the geofence, I'm going to start filling the fields here on the left. First, you're going to name your geofence, write a little description. For this one, I'm going to say I want to know when the radio arrives at this area. You can choose a color for your geofence. Uh, you're going to be applying the geofence to a company within the account. And here you can choose whether it's going to be a circle or a polygon. For this example, we'll just use circle. You can also be alerted on the geofence for either an entry, exit, or both. For this one, we'll do entry. And then you can also choose the size of your geofence. Now that I have those set up, I'm going to go select the geofence area on the map. Simply click on the map and it'll place your geofence on the map. You can change the size of that geofence by adjusting the radius field on the left. I can make it 4,000, 400. If 400 is not large enough, I'm going to set that to 800. And that's a big enough area for me to capture that alert or the entry or exit from that device here on my map. Now I'm going to select which radios are going to be showing up in the report or on the alert for this geofence. After you've selected a couple of radios, you're now able to save your geofence. And now that my geofence is saved, it shows up on the list of my geofences. Now I want to go in here and show you how to change the shape of your geofence. So here I'm going to click on the edit button within the list of the geofences. Click on the pencil and you're now in the edit mode for this geofence. Now instead of this being a circle, I'm actually going to change this to a polygon shape within the area. On the type field, choose polygon and start clicking on the screen to create your polygon points. I found the area of the warehouse where I want to create my polygon and I'm just going to start clicking on the map. There's my first point, there is my second point, third, fourth, fifth. You can have as many points as you need and you can move the existing points to reshape the polygon. So for this example, I'm going to make it a slightly larger to capture the area and the streets as this device is coming and going. Actually, I want to capture that device as it's coming up the street so I can be alerted when it's coming in. So I created a couple of more points on the existing polygon and I'm dragging those to make it the shape I need to capture the activity of a device coming up the street. I think I've got those placed pretty much where I want them and now as that device is coming up the street, I'm going to get the alert and a report for when that device enters into my geofence. You can have as many geofences as you'd like in an account and you can have them apply to certain companies. Now that I've created the new one, I don't need that existing geofence and I'm going to simply delete it. Hit the delete button and she gone. Now I'm going to actually take a look at some of the reports that show up from your geofences. On the admin menu, go down to the geofence reports option, choose the company, look at the date range that you want to select for the geofences, select which device or geofence you want to report on and hit submit. From there, you're going to see all of the information you need for whether somebody was inside or outside of the geofence, depending on what kind of an alert you get. And that's it. That is geofencing in iTalk PTT radios. What a nifty and fantastic feature we hope that you all get to enjoy. And as always, thank you for being an amazing customer using iTalk PTT. Please feel free to call or send us an email if you ever need to have a chat.